Welcome in the sixth section of Cassandra course. In this section, we'll be optimizing our data to be very performant. So first we will see how deletes and updates affects performance of Cassandra. Then we will learn to distinguish between white rows and primary keys. At the end, we'll be looking at the batching in Cassandra. And this is a first video of that sixth section. And in this section, we will see how the frequent updates and deletes impact the Cassandra. So we will see what a tombstone is and how delete work. So tombstone address the problem of deleting data from a system which uses immutable files to store data. One of the characteristics of Cassandra is that it uses a log structured LSM tree, while most relational databases uses a B tree. Cassandra always appends data from writes with reads taking care of merging the row fragments together, picking the latest version of each column to return. So the question is how to delete data. Another property of LSM trees is that data is written in immutable files called SS tables in Cassandra. And if we have a such system, deletes can only be done via a special kind of write. So reads will fetch the tombstone and not consider any data predating the tombstone timestamp. So let's think how tombstone works in Cassandra. So in the context of Cassandra, a tombstone is a specific data stored alongside standard data. A delete does nothing more than insert a tombstone. When Cassandra reads the data, it will merge all the shards of the requested rows from mem table and the SS tables. Then it applies a last Rhine wins algorithm to choose what is the correct data, no matter if it is a standard value or a tombstone. Let's look at the example of how the tombstone and deletion of records in Cassandra does look like. So we have an example when we are marking free records as tombstones. When the compaction process starts, it merges data from SS tables and retains only data that is not marked as tombstone. So it evicts tombstones and removes deletions. And when those SS tables will be merged into one SS table, the resulting SS table doesn't contain the tombstones. And that is a process of removing data and it uses that tombstone mechanism to do this because everything in Cassandra is immutable. We can look at the Cassandra documentation about deletes and everything relating process of tombstones and deleting that data is described here in details. 